My name is Mary Coyle, and I'm the director of the Cody International Institute. I've got one fan over there. <laughs> She's the director of the Cody International Institute at St. Evex. Here it is, this Cody Institute at St. Evex and ending in this, yet you reach out to the whole world. I mean, this is sort of your community. That's right. It's, uh, it truly is a global community. What we've seen is absolutely stunning. Ground has been broken in June for the new Cody International Institute and something like $16 million has been raised on behalf of that cause. What a magnificent legacy. What a great history and track record of success. Mary, I'm so sorry that I can't be with you in this very well-deserved tribute evening. You truly are proof of the power of one. You single-handedly, through your leadership, have made Cody an even more central part of the St. of X campus. You've brought Cody to the country, and you've brought Cody to the world. I know that Moses Cody would be proud of you today, and I'm very proud of you. You're our very own Mother Teresa, and you've been an inspiration to a lot of us about just how powerful a vision can be. Thank you for your service. I know Mary Coyle since last 18 years. I still remember that it was Mary Coyle who took an initiative to establish a partnership between Seva Bank and uh, Cody Institute. It's always a pleasure to work with her. Uh, and you know, she, we, I have always remembered that she is always interested in major two issues. One is that, you know, empowering poor women. And the second is the issue on which it's a common, building, com, building the capacity of community-based organizations. These are the two issues which, she is, which are very dear to her and she is always interested in working on those issues. It has always been a pleasure working with her. She is a very dynamic person as well as she is a very sensitive person towards particularly the issues relating to poverty. Uh, I wish her very best for her future career as well as her per, for personal life. Mary, the organizers of this wonderful event, chers amis, I want to tell you how much I'm proud of you. And I think that you are probably the best that there is in Canada. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. For those of you who don't know, my name is Lindsay. I'm Alexis. And we're representing the Youth Internship Program of 1999, where I went to India. And I was in Ghana, West Africa. We are so sorry we couldn't be there with you tonight. We're coming to you from Toronto, and we just wanted to tell you how much we adore you. And we were talking about, if anyone's ever worked with Mary, they know that she does two things. So we wanted to share two things about Mary. Um, one thing is that Mary has vision and she was the one who had the vision to bring the youth internship program to the Cody and that resulted in hundreds of youth across Canada being ambassadors for the Cody but also who really care about the world. And, and the second thing is she actually gets things done. Yeah, she actually helped me get into medical school by writing me a glowing reference and I'm eternally grateful and it's really you have made me who I am today. And I think many interns could say that, Mary, and we wish we could be there, and we love you very much, and we wish you the best on what the future holds, and we know that the Cody's in good hands because you bring people on to your vision, and uh, we're looking forward to see what's the next chapter of the Cody. We love you. Mwah. Saint of X has been involved with the world since 1938, when people from all over the world started to come into little old Annie Ganesh to learn about the Antigonish movement and Moses Cody and Jimmy Tompkins and what they were doing right here in rural Nova Scotia. Hard to believe that. You know. Last year when I made my first visit to Afghanistan, who did I run into but three Cody graduates. Really? One from Nepal who's working on uh, food programs with the World Food Program. Two who are spreading the credit union system on the ground throughout Afghanistan. They're from the Philippines. A little Antigonish idea having impact in Afghanistan. That's right. The world a marvelous place. It is a marvelous place. Hi, Mary. You've made a great contribution to St. Vex and particularly to the Cody Institute. So what's next for you? Whatever it is, keep me informed. I want to know what you're doing. You've been a great inspiration to me and to many others, and we want to keep up with you. Thank you. Mary Coyle, what can I say about her? 
Well, you know, the best way to describe her, I guess, would be she's a force of nature, in a good way. Now, Mary is really an incredibly dynamic woman. Um, the Cody International Institute, when I had first come to, to Canada last year, um, around June, that was my first experience of meeting with her. And I was so touched just by her drive, her passion, her desire to make a difference in the world, knowing that she'd spent time in Botswana, that she'd actually called one of her daughters, Lorato. I was so amazed at how, she, how international she was and how committed she was to making such a difference across the world. You know, they're Cody graduates all over the world, and I'm one of them now in South Africa. And the work that she pioneered over there um, in Antigonish, Canada, is now being replicated all across South Africa. When we're talking about Mary Coyle, we're talking about self-starter, we're talking about getting things done, and we're also talking about success. We're talking about changing uh, the face of an organization and moving it into a dynamic force that has, in fact, brought about significant uh, positive influences in the field, uh, particularly on the African continent. Mary Coyle is a dynamic force uh, and who will uh, continue, I'm sure, to be an influence uh, around her and around the Institute and uh, that uh, great university. Well done, Mary Coyle. Very proud of you. Very proud to have been part of your initiatives and your efforts. Thank you very much. Moses Cody's influence through the Institute that bears his name has made of the Institute a dominant force throughout the 20th century. Mary Coyle's influence, building on Moses Cody and his beliefs, I believe has made the Institute a force not only for the first decade of the 21st century, but it is one that is going to be felt for decades upon decades to come. Mary Coyle is a visionary. She's a social activist, but she's also somebody who makes things happen. And that's what this is really all about. I can remember the first time talking to Mary some time ago about the fact that it wasn't enough to simply deal with a third world that exists outside our borders, but the terrible tragedy of Canadian colonialism in terms of the First Nations, the Métis Nation, and the Inuit has got to be dealt with. And that the Cody Institute has a role to play, a very important role to play. And Mary said that she was going to make that happen. And she's done it. What the Cody Institute is now going to be doing in terms of women leaders in Aboriginal societies, I think, is going to have a fundamental effect on bettering the conditions in which Aboriginal Canadians live and in which their communities can thrive. And that really is what Moses Cody was talking about, people taking control into their own hands, and that Mary Coyle was able to do what so many other people in other, other fields of endeavor in this country have not been able to do, which is to essentially reach out to the women leaders in Aboriginal communities and say, we're going to give you the opportunity to develop and the practices that have been developed elsewhere. I think it's a tremendous thing, and I think it's going to make a huge difference. And it's not only going to make a difference for the Cody, but I believe that as other institutions in this country see what the Cody is doing in terms of women leaders, see how Aboriginal communities can build their communities and so that in fact they're a force for economic development and the response to social problems, I think is going to be huge. I am a huge fan of Mary Coyle's. I believe that what Mary has done at the Cody, is, its, its effects are going to be felt, as I've said, throughout the 21st century. And that the Cody is so well positioned as a result of what she has done. Now, Mary, I don't know, because you seem to be keeping it a pretty good secret, what you're going to do in the future. So let me just say that along with a lot of, an awful lot of other people, when you decide what you're going to do, for heaven's sakes, let us know. Take care. Bye-bye.